On the conference call, CEO Mark Costa, obviously a smart fellow, talked about the company's investments in sustainable products and what they call the circular economy. Something, well, look, we heard that from Lionel uh, uh, Bazel last night. The idea is that the plastic industry can become a lot more environmentally friendly by focusing on recycling. For example, Eastman is now building one of the world's largest plastic-to-plastic molecular recycling facilities where they convert old polyester into durable products. The company plans to recycle more than 500 million pounds of plastic waste annually by 2030. Otherwise, this stuff just ends up in landfills or waterways. It's why so many hate plastic, especially the young people. And that's how East Benestagio Chemical Company made it uh, to number 27 on Barron's 2021 list of the most sustainable companies in the United States, a plastic company. I know a lot of younger money managers are hesitant to go near anything that's plastic related because they think the environmental crisis is uh, should make it so you shouldn't own these stocks and governments around the world will eventually crack down hard on these companies. But I think Eastman's found a way to thread the needle here. Get this. This is what I thought was most I- I- incredible. They just struck a deal. Sorry about my back. With, I'm going to add this into the end categories here. They, that's right, they stuck a deal with the finest luxury goods maker on earth, LVMH, the French luxury powerhouse, to supply packaging made through the molecular recycling process to LVMH's perfume and cosmetics division. That is quite the endorsement, people. I, I, it sounds like to me that finally we're getting to where real plastic recycling is here. They're not just making junk with it. They're selling stuff to LVMH. That's perhaps the most stylish company on earth as a client. Now, that is a great token. I think it works. Plus, with the harsh pullback over the last couple of weeks, including today's nearly 4% slide, I think Eastman's becoming a lot more compelling. At these levels, the stocks trade at less than 13 times the extra earnings estimates, and they're paying you to wait with a bountiful 2.4% dividend yield. Better than a sharp stick in the eye or treasury bonds, for that matter. I like this. The bottom line, like we heard from Lionel Bazel last night, there's a huge supply and demand imbalance boost in the chemical industry when that won't go away until next year. So while the group is getting gaffed by misguided rate hikes, it matters more that pricing's going up. And that's where I think you're getting a terrific chance to buy some Eastman Chemical, which has great execution and also gives you the best sustainability kicker from plastic that I have heard yet. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.